Solomon said, when I got through sowing my 1,000 burnt offerings, the Spirit of the Lord asked me, what do you want me to do for you? We got to get on that side of it. Not the side where we always asking God. But we got to get on the side where God asks us. And that's another level of sacrifice. There's 21 people in this building that God said will give a thousand dollars. But I'm gonna give you this handkerchief out of my prayer room. And if your breakthrough don't come, you can call me. Because I know what I'm talking about. Juanita Bynum is a con artist. She is in a position of leadership and teaching over men and guiding men, which goes clearly against the scriptures, but we won't deal with that. We've dealt with that in the past, but what she is is a, a con man. She's looking for someone playing on their fear as well as their greed for money, for fame, for power to kind of shame them, to guilt them into giving. He said, 21 people in this building. How do I know God is talking to me? Because you got it. That's how I know God is talking to you. Because it's in your account right now. Because it's on your credit card right now. That's how I know God is talking to you. Well, I ain't never gave that before. You know what? In order to get something you ain't never had, you got to do something you ain't never did. In 1 Timothy 6, 5, he speaks about these sort of wicked people. And he says, uh, men of depraved mind and the word for man is the word anthropon. So this can also apply to women as well of depraved mind and deprived of the truth who suppose that godliness is a means of gain. But the truth is, as he goes on to say, that actually it's godliness that really actually is the gain. This woman is after things. Whatever's happened in her past, you see it rearing its head now. This woman wants to make sport of people. Now, for the people that are sitting watching her and listening to her, the Bible is clear. If there is something that you need, don't let someone play on your fears, tug on your heartstrings, or or hit you where it's hurting, where you're where you're not really sure if God is going to come through. And so, because you need something or even want something, you now become vulnerable. But look what God, look what Jesus says. He says in Matthew. 633 he says, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then all these things will be added to you. Now it's only going to be added to you if you need him, if God wants you to. And so that might be the issue. Oftentimes someone like her or, or others like her will come around and play on what you think you need, but it's not what God wants you to have, but because it's your desire, your dream to have a bigger ministry, a bigger house, a bigger boat, a bigger bank account, whatever it is, here she comes and says that you ought to sow into this. And said, Lord, you dropped a mantle in this building today. You're calling me to carry a torch to the next generation. Don't let me be one that fumbled them off. He said, 21 people in this building, come now wherever you are. Give me an envelope. Give me some envelopes. He said, 21 people, come now wherever you are. He talking to you in this building. A thousand dollars ain't nothing. A thousand dollars ain't nothing in comparison to what God's going to do. I didn't call for buckets yet, y'all. It ain't nothing. There's plans that you have that ain't going through until you make that sacrifice to the Lord. Stand right here, young man. There's business plans that y'all got. It ain't going through until you make that sacrifice to God. There's promotions that you want. You're not going to get it until you make that sacrifice to God. Line up right here. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Line up right here. I know what I'm talking about. The Lord said you better come. I'm just a messenger. He said there's 21 of you all sitting here. You put everything else on your credit card. There's pastors that don't, God want to open doors for you. He don't want you to rent. He wants you to own your own building. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to make that sacrifice. Who is he talking to? Question is, when in the Bible do we see someone doing that? Saying, if God wants to bless you, so into my ministry. God is looking for you to give to my... Where, where do we find that anywhere in the scriptures? We don't. And it takes people who have a greed of something or it coupled with 
and ignorance of the Bible, then they will line up and they will give her money. My God, I called and you answered. I'm the messenger. I'm the messenger. And so I would just say this, all the people that lined up, I don't know if she actually got 21 or not. Maybe she did, maybe she didn't, maybe she got more, but give it, give it. Since you don't know that much about the Bible, then sometimes the best lesson that you can learn that may even push you to learn the Bible is something like this. So where you get fleeced and taking uh, your money away from you, well, then maybe this is the best thing that can happen to you. And so I pray that whatever lesson they learn, I pray it's a good one. I pray that they get exactly what God wants them to get. And that's an understanding.